Well, now we have some breaking news, the latest on the search for Brian Laundrie. Let's get out to Brian Enton. Are we going to go live to him? Yes, we are. Brian, what, what, what can you tell us? So this is big news, uh, Nicole. We have just confirmed through the Laundrie family attorney. I'm going to read you this text. Chris and Roberta Laundrie have been informed the remains found yesterday in the reserve are indeed Brian's. So we now have confirmation the remains found in the reserve yesterday, the skeletal remains, are Brian Laundrie. Uh, the attorney says we have no further comment at this time, and we ask that you respect the laundry's privacy at this time. So uh, we were under the assumption we might not be getting this information until tomorrow, but now uh, Stephen Bertolino, the attorney for the laundry family, confirming that the remains inside the reserve are Brian Laundrie. We now know for the first time, uh, Nicole, that Brian Laundrie is dead. All right, so Brian, I know that, you know, as you said when we spoke to you at the top of the hour, we thought we wouldn't get this information until tomorrow. So now, though they can confirm, it is in fact Brian Laundrie. Do you have any information on when or if we'll learn anything about maybe the cause of death and how long those remains had been there? So we're obviously going to start working to get that information. Uh, there could possibly be an FBI press conference tonight or a press release or something like that that will give us more information. All we know right now, according to the Laundry family attorney, that the remains uh, are, in fact, Brian Laundry. Uh, yeah, that, that's really it right now. Also, Nicole, interesting, maybe 10 minutes before we got this confirmation through the attorney, uh, we know that two Northport police detectives showed up to the laundry home, which is just about 10 minutes from where we are at the reserve, knocked on the door. They went inside for about two minutes inside the house, came out and left. Uh, we immediately went into sort of go mode because we had a feeling that the police would be showing up at the house before some kind of announcement uh, was made. And now again, confirmation uh, through Stephen Bertolino, the attorney, uh, that the remains found yesterday in the reserve are indeed Brian Laundrie. Again, now we can report uh, that Brian Laundrie is dead. All right, so Brian, you know, let's just walk through this a bit. So you, you know, you have been covering the story at this point for at least six weeks now. So within the past, though, what two, three days? I mean, everything has changed. Talk, you know, walk us through what happened Tuesday. That's when the reserve reopened, and then Wednesday we have this discovery of the remains and some items, and then now today confirmation. Just walk us through the events of those days. Yeah, so let me walk you through uh, this week, just because there's so much with this story, but let's just go through the last week. Uh, Monday, reserve was back open. Uh, public was allowed in. We thought that the search for Brian Laundry at the reserve was over. We were able to go into the reserve. There were people hiking. There were people mountain biking, all sorts of stuff going on. We weren't sure where this case was going to go next or where Brian Laundry was. Then Tuesday, 7 a.m., uh, all of the sudden, uh, the Laundry parents show up here at the reserve. They meet North Northport police here, and within less than an hour, they locate items that belong to Brian Laundry. Let me just look behind me. So this is another medical examiner van, by the way, that arrived and is now leaving. They arrived about an hour ago. Sorry, just I just don't want to miss anything. Um, so uh, again, Tuesday, 7 a.m., Laundry parents arrive here. Uh, to the reserve. Uh, they search for less than an hour. They come across personal items of Brian's, including a backpack, a, note, a notebook, uh, and then police find uh, remains that we can now say are Brian Laundry's very, very close uh, to that backpack. So that was Tuesday. Uh, they, they took the remains in for testing. We learned today that they were skeletal uh, remains. Um, and that mostly bones is what we heard. Uh, and now it takes us to this moment, confirmation from the attorney uh, that those remains have been identified as Brian Laundrie's. And, and so, Brian, talk about, so yesterday, you know, Brian's parents then, Brian Laundrie's parents, it sounds like were the ones, along with police, to make the discovery of those remains, correct? Yeah, so according to uh, Stephen Bertolino, the attorney, the parents wanted to go back out to the reserve because it was back open to the public. He contacted the police and said uh, they want to go out to the reserve, meet them there at 7 a.m. So 7 a.m., they meet out at the reserve with the police. And according to Mr. Bertolino, uh, the laundries took the police on uh, to a part of the reserve that Brian often frequented. 
uh, and it was Christopher Laundry, the dad who came across a bag of personal items and that notebook. It was officers on the other side of the trail who found the backpack, and then beyond the backpack in the brush, is where the officers, it was the officers who made the discovery uh, of the human remains. Up until uh, today, we weren't really sure what, what was left of these remains. I mean, the FBI told us yesterday that they were essentially underwater because this area was flooded for weeks and weeks and weeks, uh, so that they were not in very good condition. We learned later that they were skeletal, that they were just bones, which uh, we learned from the medical examiner meant it might take some time for them to, uh, to be able to identify them. Uh, but now, again, confirmation that the remains are, in fact, Brian Laundry. And Brian, one more question for you, because, you know, as we're talking to you, we are showing video uh, from the helicopter for video, so video from the sky of the reserve there. So I know you've, you know, you've certainly gone over that. Um, but it looks, I mean, it appears that that area that was covered is out in the open. You know, the grass appeared to be dry, appeared to be green. Now, you know, that's an area that had been underwater, but it makes you, you know, wonder, well, how long had it then been dry? Because that doesn't, I mean, again, we're from the sky, so it could be waterlogged down there, but I mean, it appears to be lush, green, you know, healthy grass. Just meaning that, you know, he yeah, would listen, have been exposed. Nicole, all of your questions. Yeah, all of your questions and the things you're bringing up are really good points that we've been wondering about ever since this went down this week. We now have confirmation that this is Brian Laundry and that those were his remains and he's dead. But that doesn't mean there's not still a ton of questions just like the ones you're asking. Uh, it was an open area. How did the parents and the police stumble upon these remains after five weeks of an intense FBI grid search? Why suddenly yesterday uh, were the parents and police able to suddenly find the personal items and the remains? Again, all of this is still going to be under investigation by the FBI. And one last thing, Brian, before we let you go, just for people who may uh, just now be joining us. Can you read that statement from the laundry's attorney, please? Yeah, let me read it one more time for you. So this is a text that, that I got from Mr. Bertolino. Chris and Roberta Laundry have been informed that the remains found yesterday in the reserve are indeed Brian's. We have no further comment at this time, and we ask that you respect, uh, respect the laundry's privacy at this time. And I'll just remind you again, the reason that we reached out to Mr. Bertolino is because a short time ago, two police detectives arrived at the laundry's house, uh, went inside just for two minutes, and came back out, and we suspected that this is how it would go down. Northport police would show up to the house. Uh, they would give them the news, the death notification, uh, and now we've got the confirmation through the attorney. Yeah, confirmation via text. All right, Brian Enton, again, thank you so much for your continued coverage, and we will be right back.